uh, people give you real estate deals and buy real estate from you that is not really valued at what they buy it for. That's a lot of standard old line fraud that goes on. And I don't endorse it. I don't apologize for it. I don't like it. The issue here is, though, taking a hundred and forty something thousand dollars is what they're alleging over multi years from a donor, a hundred and forty thousand in loans and gifts in exchange for promoting the businesses of a political patron who was seeking special favors from the state government. It's a 14-count indictment filed by U.S. State Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia, including charges of fraud and soliciting loans and gifts from Johnny R. Williams Sr., the chief executive of Star Scientific, a maker of dietary supplements who hoped to use the governor to promote his products. Well, can a governor not have an endorsement deal? I guess you can't while you're a sitting governor. Look what Schwarzenegger did, though. He did movies and ads and everything he wasn't supposed to. He didn't get in trouble because he was working for the big boys, selling everybody out on energy price gouging with Enron before he was governor and after, uh, on going after guns, open borders, all these regulations, giving waivers to biotech, nanotech, uh, and waivers to uh, genetic engineering labs out there in Silicon Valley. But than harassing small businesses. I mean, you just look at this and you see it's selective enforcement. You go, but wait a minute, Schwarzenegger is a Republican too. Yeah, a Republican in name only. And this is the same way they went after Republicans in Texas. Uh, the Democrats used Travis County, where Austin's based, as kind of a command base to project false indictments out on different people that you know end up getting overturned and defeated after five, six, seven, eight year battles. So my only issue here is clearly the Democratic Party, just watching them over the years, fundamentally uses dirty tricks and uses kind of a white glove inspection of, of their political rivals and uses the justice system as a political tool. And, and Republicans do that to a certain extent. It's just not their specialty. And then here, of course, is the big giant elephant in the room. Or I should say donkey in the room. And that's that this Justice Department that is running around indicting Republicans all over the country. Republican sheriffs, Republican legislators, you really never hear about it. It'll be in the paper once. But I, I, I read local national news. I mean, I read a wide spectrum of stuff that most people wouldn't look at, and I see it every few days. But there is a purge going on via the judicial system against Republicans and conservatives and libertarians and conservative uh, sheriffs that, you know, won't put somebody in jail when the statute says they shouldn't be put in jail for having a gun in their car when they're not a felon. You know, uh, from Liberty County, we had him on. That was all a witch hunt set up with the Democrats. It's the same thing over and over again. And it's very, very dangerous because this is the same Justice Department that's covering up Salandra, Salendra, potato, potata, 500 million missing money or more, uh, all the different bid rigging, all the selective enforcement of Obamacare that is total racketeering, where all of his buddies and big corporations are exempt, but little guys and Republicans aren't. Um, total racketeering. Remember when they did the General Motors bailout? And then people that had had dealerships in some cases for 70 years who are not Democratic donors would have their Chevy dealership taken. You know, they could still own the property and sell the cars they had, but they were no longer a Chevy dealership. It was given to the local Democratic Party operatives, a lot of them who weren't even in the car business, then they would sell it back to them. I mean, that came out in Congress. Nobody got in trouble. And the problem is the corruption, the mafia behavior is so off the chart with the Democrats and they don't get in trouble. Fast and furious, the list goes on and on. Uh, the fact that the attorney general sits uh, on the board of a law firm that gets all the big payoffs on securities, uh, the trillions missing to foreign banks, all of this going on under Obama's watch and the Republican leadership's watch as they persecute 
Republicans for crooked toenails around the country. This is political purges. If you're a baby boomer or senior, please listen closely to this important message. Politicians in Washington are quietly plotting to decrease your Social Security payments drastically, and they want to do it soon. In fact, despite rising prices at the gas pump, grocery store, and doctor's office, retirees have received a mere 1.3% annual increase to their Social Security checks. Meanwhile, food stamp recipients have seen their payouts increase over 30% under the Obama administration. That's shocking. So when we stumbled upon a weird trick that could add up to $1,000 to your monthly Social Security checks, we knew we had to share it with you. To get started, simply go to MyBenefits311.com. Yes, it's true. You can take simple steps that could add up to $1,000 to your monthly Social Security payouts. Newsmax says MyBenefits311.com is a critical resource for anyone over 50. Go to MyBenefits311.com now. That's MyBenefits311.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. You can eliminate inflammation and pain. You can eliminate constipation or irritable bowels. You can flatten your tummy without exercises, and you can make your complexion clearer and more youthful. You can feel good from the inside out. Find out that as far back as 1749, what was able to reverse one man's death sentence and open up 160 spas to dispense this life-giving food. Call 866-844-1047. That's 866-844-1047. Coming up at the start of the next segment, I'm going to give the phone number out for your take on 55 million aborted babies. Over a billion aborted worldwide, but 55 million aborted since 1973 in Roe v. Wade. And this week uh, is the anniversary of that ruling. And I want to tie it into the future of humanity and tell you where humanity's going, uh, where um, our species is being guided and directed to. At the start of the next segment, the most important information we could possibly cover uh, will be discussed at the start of the next segment. But getting back to the former Virginia governor, Republican, 
McDonald and his wife being indicted on federal corruption charges. He was, going, he was a sports guy in good shape, and he was talking about making extra money endorsing someone's supplements. And they're claiming that violates ethics, and it probably does, but a federal indictment over that? I mean, why not a fine or making pay the money back? I mean, that's what they do if a Democrat gets caught. I mean, they had Congress, remember, with their own congressional bank, and none of them would you know, ever put money in it. They would just bounce checks till it was millions of dollars apiece. But that was Democrats running that, so they didn't get in trouble there. And I'm just sick of them being above the law. And I watched Travis County and the district attorneys here and the grand juries here famously indicting Republicans in government all over the state and creating big national cases out of it over and over and over again, where they'll go, you know, indict Republican congressmen repeatedly for taking PAC money that's totally legal. And if you don't like that PAC money, you know, go change the law. The point is, is it's scary to see them go after people who haven't even broken the law clearly by every benchmark. And, and, and legal scholars around the country say, no, this is political persecution, hands down. And to know they're getting worse and worse and worse about it, that's a political purge, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, the Republicans nationwide never do stuff like this. I mean, I, I, I can't think of cases, actually, where they're using grand juries at the state level to indict Democrats who hold federal office or state office. I mean, it's very rare. And it's so common with Democrats, I try to think about cases of it and my head spins because there's so many. I mean, all of you listening had no cases in your area. And this is what they do. And I was told when I ran for a Republican as a state rep for about two weeks till I talked to lawyers and looked at the laws, and I was really serious. I was going to raise money, do the whole deal. I was starting to raise money. And the lawyers told me, listen, with the, with the ethics commissions and all this, there's no way to do all this properly. There's no way to comply with everything. And even if you do, you are going to run against somebody in Travis County. They are going to try to indict you. And I was young and been talked into this by pro-life people and stuff to run. And I was already popular then. What was that, in like the year 2000 or something? Wasn't well known around the country. It was very well known in Central Texas. And I'd also exposed election fraud and things, so they thought that you know, I'd be the person to run. And, and then I started really getting into it, and I said, I'm getting out of this, because even if I want to follow all the laws and regulations, there's no way to be able to do this. And it's the same thing with Obamacare, with doctors and clinics and dentists. There's no way they can follow it and not break laws. It's impossible. It's written so they can selectively enforce who they want to go after. So my father was in medical management. Managed 22 dental offices and also was uh, starting to manage medical centers. And uh, Obamacare came in and he's been offered even more money to stay in than he ever was. In fact, he's been offered double to stay in medical management. And he just said, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And he semi-retired, does some work for us uh, on vetting supplements and things like that. But this is the type of issue that is really destroying this country as we convert from a free market system, we were never perfect, to a tyranny. Why don't Republicans not go out and do dirty tricks and you know, in, in, indict people that are innocent? Why don't grand juries at the state level, when we saw grand juries go after Clinton for perjuring himself, I guess that's a case where folks got upset enough in, in Arkansas just by his corruption, they went after him. I guess that's a case where you could say Republicans went after him. But kind of ragtag, you know, real conservatives that went after him and almost brought him down for lying uh, in, in court depositions. Why not have some grand juries go after Obama and go after Holder? Because just the indictments of, of even state grand juries will absolutely bring down these criminals by throwing a spotlight onto it. Of course, it's also very dangerous to We're do that. on the march. The Empire's on the run.
Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.